So ladies and gentlemen, it's the start of 2010. I'm sitting here on a very cold morning in Times Square, New York, America. I thought it was very pertinent to have our very first presentation from this year from New York. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the heart of the financial world. And this is where all the chaos started within the property market. So what does 2010 hold for us? I believe it's a very, very exciting year. We actually started IPS in 2003. And from that time, we've been traveling the world passionately selling South African property. It's been a tough challenge because people don't understand the opportunity which is within our country. And yet this year, the world is going to focus. This year, the World Cup will provide the catalyst for people to understand that opportunity, understand the beauty of the country, understand the magnificence of the people. I've been traveling around America for the last two and a half weeks. I've met people from all walks of life that know we have the World Cup. I've met famous baseball players that are coming out. I've met famous businessmen that are also coming out. In the space of three days, I met three different people that were making the trip out to South Africa. Apparently, 90,000 Americans signed up a couple of months ago for tickets, so I don't even know what that is. It's such, so gratifying to see that people are going to come to our country and experience what we have to offer in South Africa. Now, what does that all mean? Well, I believe for our country, people are going to realize the opportunity. I've been traveling around places like La Jolla, which is in, which is in um, California. Do you know the property there, the most expensive property, is $74 million. I was in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. The most expensive property is $35 million. Do you know, that's just shy of 300 million rand. And when one considers the, what fantastic properties we've got in South Africa, on, in places like Camps Bay and the Atlantic Seaboard, but all up the garden route, the south and the north coast. One just really appreciates the value for money and the lifestyle of what one can get within our country. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I believe is going to be so pertinent as people start to realize this opportunity. They can go there on holiday. You know, I went to South Beach, Miami. Really and truly, I thought that it was, you know, a little worse than Durban, to be honest. And yet that is one of their favorite tourist destinations. People from all over the world come there. Imagine what people are going to do when they realize what they can get when they come to South Africa. And this World Cup is going to provide us that platform so that people can experience and understand South Africa. What does it mean generally with regards to the rest of the market? I also believe the confidence is going to come back this year. I think that people are going to generally be quite exuberant this year and happy with, with, the, with the good fortune of having the World Cup. I believe the banks are going to start loosening their credit criteria and money will be easier, more easily accessible. Because there certainly are buyers in the market, but they're just struggling to get access to finance. And one thing that I think is very, very important with regards to the South African market, although we've been directly affected by this American property crisis, our fundamentals are completely different. Our supply and demand is not out of kilter. There's far more demand than there is supply. And most importantly, because of the N NCA, we didn't lend recklessly. And therefore, we're not in the same situation that we are here. As they said in America, all you needed to do to get a mortgage was have a pulse. We certainly don't have those problems. Here they've got oversupply issues and also it was far too easy to access credit and most of those people are now defaulting on their loans. We don't have those problems in South Africa and that's why in some parts of America properties drop by 70%. Generally in South Africa properties remain pretty much stable and I really believe that this year we'll start to see growth again as the banks start to loosen up and people can get back into the market and start buying properties. I believe it's the same as what we, get, was what we saw in, in Australia in 2009, where you know the, the fundamentals are right and people are still investing, and most importantly, taking advantage of the low interest rates. And then you know when one considers England, it's the same thing. Their supply and demand is not out of kilter. The demand exceeds the supply, and really it's a function of the banks coming back into the market and lending. So ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a very interesting year. I think one is an investor, there will be good opportunities or even great opportunities to take advantage of, but one is going to have to have your wits about you. You're going to have to have the right partners, you're going to have to have the right information, because certainly you don't want to end up in the situation like many Americans did, who bought their first home in 2007, it's lost 70% in value, and it might put them back 10 or 15 years financially. However, if you have the right information and the right partners, 
They are fantastic opportunities. I believe the most important thing to focus on in 2010 is where are the tenants going to come from? Where is the rental demand? That is what you have to focus on because you can get the best deals at the best discounts, but if there's no tenants, the property model does not work. And that is really what the focus for 2010 has to be. In all the countries, IPS focuses on where the average man wants to live and where the average person, the family, wants to rent. Because wherever the tenant demand is, that is where you make a success in property. That is certainly our model. It has worked for many, many years. And the best thing is, is that in times like now, it not only is robust, but it helps one invest with confidence. So go to our website, you'll be able to pick up our latest American report. My business partner Brad has just been all over Australia to, to provide us with the latest information with regards to Australia. And tonight I'm off to London to find out what is happening in the London market. So from all of us at IPS, we wish you a very, very successful year. We're expanding our team. We believe there's tremendous opportunity and we look forward to helping you invest with confidence. Go to www.ipsinvest.com. I look forward to a fantastic year working with you, both providing you with knowledge and with opportunities. Thank you.